Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin. I'm from grassfedgirl.com. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant. And for the past 10 years, I've been on a healing journey with my Hashimoto's thyroid disease. So I've learned a lot and I wanna share it with you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about histamine intolerance. It's something I learned about because my mother was suffering greatly with histamine intolerance. Now you may be wondering, what is histamine? Well, it's a naturally occurring substance in foods that normally we can detoxify pretty well, but as we get sick, maybe with autoimmunity, with stress, maybe you're not uh, eliminating well through sweat or through uh, digestion, maybe you're constipated, maybe you have diarrhea, meaning you're not absorbing your nutrients. All of these things can play a factor in histamine buildup. So imagine histamine like a bucket. So you have all of the things going in the bucket, your environmental toxins, your food, your pharmaceuticals, all these things, your, your home products, and then eventually the bucket just gets full. And so histamine maybe is at the top of that bucket and it just spills over. And that's when you're gonna see histamine reactions. So you may be wondering, do I have a problem with histamines? Well, here are some of the things that you might be having that are caused or could be caused by histamines. Irregular heartbeat, headache, migraine, nasal congestion, fatigue, blood pressure, too high blood pressure, hives, digestive issues, menstrual cycle irregularities, uh, nausea, vomiting, anxiety, dizziness, too cold or too hot, um, so swelling, maybe like edema, something like that. So it's always a good idea if you're having any of these to take a look at histamines and reducing them in your diet. So I'll tell you a little bit about my mom. She had rashes. They would spring up every maybe three months or six months, maybe more if she was really stressed out. And it didn't make any sense. I, I talked to a lot of practitioners. I would send them pictures of what was going on because I know a lot of friends that are in this business and uh, they couldn't really figure it out. A lot of them said candida and I don't know. It just didn't nothing seemed to matter. My mom does eat pretty well. She eats pretty low carb and it didn't seem to help with that issue. And there were just hives that were covering and she thought, sometimes she thought it was poison ivy. I mean, it was like from here all the way, to, you know, to their, her breasts. I mean, it was just really, really strong and very intense itching and uh, very miserable. And especially if you were on vacation or you needed to go somewhere, it was just unbearable. So she kept asking me, what do I think? And I just kept asking my friends, what do you think? And I didn't really know what it was. And I felt bad because I wanted to help her. Even we go to a holistic nurse practitioner, they didn't really have any answers for us either. So um, it wasn't until one day when we went to eat barbecue and it was smoked chicken she ate. And that was about all she had. And the next day, she doesn't eat a lot because she um, just doesn't have as much of an appetite as maybe a younger person. So that was pretty much all she had had. And the next day, boom, came out of, of oh, all over her neck. And she was calling me upset. And that truly really tri tripped my brain like, okay, this is it. I know what it is now. It's histamine because that is one of the biggest things that is full of histamine is smoked foods. And that's exactly what she had. Um, aged cheeses, wines, so sausage, bacon, broth. You can make broth, but it has to be quick broth. So I'll talk more about that. Smoked meats, leftover food. So you don't want your food to sit in the refrigerator for many days. Canned food, fermented food, vinegars. Uh, like I said, aged cheese, yogurt, egg whites. Alcohol, wine is a big thing. Avocado, avocado mayonnaise, chocolate, lemon, tomatoes, and um, shellfish sometimes. What can you do? It sounds like very overwhelming, but really just boils down to this. Eat something fresh. Eat it right from the butcher. Eat it right away. Don't let it sit around a long time. Don't eat fermented foods. Don't eat canned bacon. Don't 
Don't eat canned foods, don't eat bacon that's been uh, aged and cured. So um, what, what she tries to do is eat you know, fish that's just been, that's frozen. You can have frozen foods because they're frozen right when they're fresh. So you could have frozen burgers. You don't always have to have something fresh, fresh, fresh. You just have to have it frozen fresh. And then when you thaw it out, cook it right away. And bone broth, for example, you can make bone broth, but I would make it an instant pot, cook it that day, drink it that day. Don't have it sitting around for days and days um, like some of us tend to do because it lasts a long time. But if you're doing histamine, you have to have uh, quick cooked things that don't sit around. All right, so it can seem overwhelming, but the good news is my mom has done really well. And the thing is, like I said before about the bucket, it's overflowing when the histamines so you just have to bring that level down. So now she is doing so much better. And since she is aware of these things, she can avoid them for the most part. And if she has a little bit of, like Friday night, we went to that same barbecue place. She got some brisket and she was fine because she has eliminated all the other things like the smoked cheeses and the aged cheeses and the bacon and the wine. She drinks wine sometimes with her boyfriend and so it is just because she is aware of it now she is able to eliminate most of those things so she has a bite here and there she's not going to have a reaction and um, also another thing she does that she's told me helped a lot is she takes digestive enzymes I like and she uses the digestive enzymes from Young Living I have a link down below to buy Young Living products uh, there's another one on Amazon you can get called Super Enzymes. I don't think it works quite as good, but it is a, an affordable option. So enzymes, if you're eating out maybe and you don't know what's in the food. Uh, but re remember, histamine, it's a process. So just try to reduce those foods over time and your histamine will improve and you will feel better and you won't have to worry about it so much. One of the books, I'll put a picture of it here, is called... Uh, the Histamine Intolerance Diet, I, I think it's called that, and it's Dr. Becky Campbell. I have another video that I did with her. It's a wonderful book. That's helped my mom a whole lot. It's kind of a paleo-ish approach to lowering, lowering histamine, which is a great idea. And you can do carnivore on low histamine, and maybe I'll talk about that more next time, but you just have to, uh, you don't have to have vegetables uh, at all you just have to avoid the aged meats and the long cooking bone broth and um, those kinds of things, the cured meats, so, and cured cheeses and all that. Um, so you can do it on carnivore, but my mom found that this book was really helpful for her because she was really overwhelmed and she didn't know what to do right away. And I am not an expert on this topic, but I have learned a lot more since she started. So she probably has been working on this for six months, maybe a year and just following the simple tips has helped her so much and uh, she's alleviated it and she hasn't had any more breakouts and rashes and all that. So if you are having some of these symptoms, it is a great idea to check for histamine intolerance just by doing your own experiments, reducing your histamine load, and you will feel so much better if that's your issue. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope this has been helpful. If you want to have my mom on, leave a comment below and I will tell you about her story. And I'll leave a link below to get Dr. Becky Campbell's book and watch our video where we talked about histamines. And back then I didn't know as much about it as I do now. So um, I've had to learn by living through it with my mom and helping her firsthand. So Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my videos. Please subscribe, share with a friend, hit the notification bell. It helps me out so much. I'm a new mom and I'm trying to make these videos while my baby is sleeping. So I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.